And we back! NBA 2K24 is here and I am hyped! I'm be honest with you, I was not keeping up with all of the news. So I don't know if anything is different, but a new cycle just makes me feel excited. And every single year we start off the new cycle the exact same way. I need to see my Chicago Bulls win a championship. No ifs, ands, or buts. We do it every single year because every single year they need my help. <laughs> Let's be honest. And the goal is to get them back to like 70 wins. That would be great. But ultimately, raising the Larry O'Brien trophy. First video of the cycle, leave a like, subscribe. Let's get into it. I'm always up so early for the first video of the cycle, so I sound nasally because I just woke up. Th this lets you know that this is the first time I'm loading up the game, so these are all genuine first reactions. This is the roster viewer where you can see the details. Of your t we don't need that. We know exactly what that is. All right, so here are the ratings of every player on the team. We got a healthy Lonzo, Lonzo Ball. That's fun and not realistic. In a world of realism, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end, <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy out of context. In a world of uh, realism, let me end your Lonzo Ball real quick. I want them to be in basically the same position in the game that they are in real life. So Lonzo, I'm sorry you can't hoop this season. Alex Caruso is looking good. Oh no, Alex Caruso getting some love right now. 78 overall before the morale boost. Patrick Williams, please, let's do it. Uh, Drummond, Kobe White. Okay, y'all know what the roster looks like. Okay, I'm not, I don't hate it. Carlick Jones even got a face scan now. That's fun for him. Shout out. To, oh, no, he don't. No, he don't. All right. Well, well, obviously, there are so many new badges and stuff in the cycle. Um, so let me just quickly go through that as my first reaction. Uh, see, physical handles is not something that existed last season. post fade Phenom. Did, did that exist? No. That lets you know how much in 2K23 I actually play. I don't think there, that existed. Some of these other things for sure existed. Um, but you you have them in two different tiers, gameplay badges and personality badges. So, but Demar's got a lot. All right, Demar, relay passer, the personality badges um, is is a couple. But yo, we here, we here. All right, so Demar DeRozan. Oh yeah, show me the morale stuff. Demar DeRozan is on the last year of his deal. He is extension el eligible as of right now. Uh, so that's something. Zach Levine has his max contract. Vucevic just got extended. Lonzo Ball has one more year next year. Hopefully we can, um, I don't know, have him come back and look solid, I guess. This first year is a kind of, let, let me see what's going on, yeah? Because with DeMar being on the last year of his deal, if we ain't good, then I'm willing to trade him for some capital or another young play or something. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's got to be involved in some type of trade, more likely than not. Jokic is the highest rated player. Steph Curry um, is next, and then Embiid, Giannis, LeBron, Kevin Durant are all in the same tier. Then you got some 95s and so on and so forth. Can I see where Wimby is at? Where do they got Wimby at in this game? 84. Woo! I think my second video is going to be a, a Wimby exclusive video because this man might be a monster, and I need to see that in 2K. As of right now, everything looks the same. I mean, this got an update as far as the visual aspect of it. But, again, looks like NBA 2K23. Uh, but you never know, so sometimes the changes is, is under the layer of the surface, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they might have made um, the AI better, which means that we could jump into games and not have to worry about the best player being on the bench in the closeout game or something. Uh, yeah, but our Bulls are not looking good. <laughs> our Bulls are not looking good. Um, so that tells me that we need to be thinking about DeMar DeRozan being on that trade block right now. And since I'm doing it, hey, add the other two as well. You never know. You never know what type of offers that might come through. In real life, Vucevic said this is probably their last chance together. And I agree with that. If it ain't working, then you you break it apart. And since we don't look very good, let's do some scouting. Let's see if the scouting system is, is different as of right now. And it, is, it is not where you just select five to ten players or so. But who knows? It might be a higher hit versus miss rate. I, I don't know. But since we will be drafting, um, let me go out and sign another coach. Or I'm sorry, another scout. It's 7 a.m. here, which, you know, it's, it's early for me. I ain't gonna act like this ain't nothing. I don't normally wake up this early. Why Why are three of my neighbors mowing their lawn this early? I didn't know they did that. I, I just thought they had magic grass. I would wake up and their lawn would be be cut. Our first trade offer received is from the Brooklyn Nets that said, hey, we got Nicholas Claxton and Ben Simmons in exchange for Zach Levine. Stop it. E even though Ben said he's coming back and he's going to be better than ever, it ain't happening for us. You feel me? Not with that contract. We'd rather just keep Zach Levine and win 11 games every year or whatever the number might be. Hold on. Uh, Boyd Long projected. Oh, this is the first overall pick. Oh. 
Why Why the S sporting good news, whatever the heck they call, got him at number eight. I'm thinking we about to get a steal. This dude, the best player in the draft. He going to go first. He's a seven foot one center with an A minus three and an A mid range. Crazy rebounder, crazy post defense. This is the first overall pick. And, and oh, okay. Yeah, well, I thought we didn't call this steal under the new draft system. I ain't going to lie to you. But I guess that's not the, that's not the case. All right, well. I'll go back to losing. What I'm noticing is that uh, draft speed is really, uh, not draft speed, the sim speed is really slow. Let, let me show you an example. Today, Jalen Brunson for DeMar DeRozan. I'm going to say no. This video is not about realism. I, I don't know if I said that earlier, but also not that either. Um, just, just watch how, how, how slow things can be. We're on the 29th. We're still on the 29th. Uh, I, I know I cut that, but that, that was at least 30 seconds on one singular day. And the, this this day is also taking forever. So, you know, the, the game is just released. I'm sure there's going to be an update to kind of fix some of this stuff. At least, fingers crossed. Because what am I supposed to do right here other than just wait patiently? And I'm showcasing how long it really is. All right. Now, I, I was going to go to Jam uh, Feb 1 to make some trades. I can't wait that long. That, that SM speed, we got to make some, some trades. So, here we go. This is where you make trades. They'll try to explain that to you. You know this. You've been watching these videos. This easy. Let's see what type of uh, year DeMar's having. Actually, we're, we're winning games recently. But that that's that's fool's goal. You know what I'm saying? That's fool's goal. He's averaging 24, 5, and 3.5. And uh, he's shooting 54% from the field, which would be a career high. So he's having a good season. He is at 3.5 star value. I want to take a look around the league to see who's buying. So we could go. They're saying we're buying. We're the 10 seed. We, 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 oh, Lonzo's back. Oh, my God. They got Lonzo hooping. I don't want Lonzo to be hooping. That's that's why we're actually kind of solid. Oh, maybe not. Lonzo. Can, uh, we're going to, again, injure Lonzo. Brooklyn is uh, apparently targeting DeMar DeRozan. Uh... So do we run them for their money? Do you, you know what I'm saying? Do we run them for their money? Uh, they've made a trade to get Kevon Looney, so but they're bad. But if they're targeting Demar, should I just give them Demar and like steal a first round pick or something? I've not. I've, it's very rare that you see another team that's targeting your player. I actually feel really good. The Spurs are targeting Demar Derozan. They want to pair Demar with Wimby. Or actually, give us Wimby. Give us Wimby. I wonder if that's just because he's a free agent this season. Because why would the Wizards at 8-34, and 34, <laughs> why would they be targeting him? I don't know. What is Bilal Kalabale doing? Uh, not, he probably ain't even played a second yet. Oh, he's played a little bit. Okay. All right, Bilal. So there's not a, a ton of teams out there that are buying. There's there's one specifically that they could be interested in. Um, and it's these guys. I think they could use some DeMar DeRozan type play. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of cool stuff. Like, we, I guess we'll take Zaire Williams. Uh, we give you DeMar. You got to make up, uh, what did that say? $22 million. So, let's see what y'all got. We obviously aren't getting some of these top dudes, but um, they might give us Luke Kennard. JK, we can't get the contracts to match. What if we just trade fighter DeMar DeRozan? Let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I feel like the trade system ain't that much better this year. Because I do this in a heartbeat. 24-year-old DPOI, bro, 24. I mean, 34-year-old expiring contract. Stop playing. I kind of want the Lakers 2026. Now, they're not going to accept this. But I feel like LeBron is going to be retired by this time. So, this pick might be valuable. They want a second, but they'll give me an extra first-round pick. Do we... <laughs> Do we finesse? Because <laughs> they can move Bron over to the foe. Have Austin Reeves run the guard. It ain't up to me to have them figure it out. DeMar DeRozan is an L.A. guy to start off with. Um, so our first trade is done. D'Angelo Russell, welcome to the to Chicago. Rui Hachimura, also welcome to Chicago. I mentioned how we're not in the world of realism. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm 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 happy that everybody is on the same understanding. I'm also realizing that uh, Damian Lillard is still on the Blazers, which is a reality, right? But it is weird to see them have all of this guard play, um, even though Scoot is injured with a torn left hammy. Uh, so that's no fun for everybody involved. But they also traded for Clint Capella. So there, there have been bigger trades happen. We're going we to look at those trades in a second to see if the trade logic was okay. Trying to trade Vooch to the Dallas Mavericks. They trade for Kira Lewis Jr. at some point. His contract plus the, the, the Maxi Kleber contract gets us potentially this trade to happen. They want Kobe White and they give us Tim Hardaway Jr. And they want one of the Lakers picks. That's a, that's a bridge too far, my boy. You're not getting that. I give you Terry Taylor instead of Car Carlick. Do you want that? They really want one of those Lakers picks. Ah, you're not getting them. 
Because <laughs> we're going to use those later. So the trade is dead. That sucks. Because I think Boots can help them out. They are one game over 500. They need talent. What if I just steal a first round pick away from the Clippers, right? The, Clip the Clippers could use some center play. They don't got Zoo very good in the game. Vucevic again, 84. We bring in Mook, who is not good, but he's on the last year of his deal anyway. And then we get a future, future first round pick. The Clippers might not be good in 2027. Deal is done, Vooch. I apologize, but you're going to LA. We made two LA deals, one with the Clippers, one with the Lakers. And now this is what our potential star lineup looks like. We got a lot of power four minutes. That's okay. Actually, I'm going to tell Mook that we don't need you to play this season, my boy. Actually, we might. if there is a buyout market. Oh, did the buyout market get added this year? Probably not. I don't even know why I'm fake hyping myself up. I know that it wasn't added. All right, so I expect us to be pretty bad the second half of the season. Um, because we want to get in on this draft class, man. We got some players who I'm still draft or scouting, like uh, Joey Burke, 21 year, years old, second highest overall in the draft class. Still ain't completely scouted him. Um, 6'9", with a crazy great wingspan for somebody that's 6'9". Like, you know, we, we in on these type of players. So uh, give me 45 minutes, because that's what it feels like it's going to take to simulate through all of this. But we're going to be back. John Morant does, does not serve his 25-game suspension and averages 39-6 and six and ends up the MVP. Uh, Wim, yeah, Wimpy averages almost three blocks per game. Sheesh. Six man of the year goes to Chris Paul. Giannis wins DPOY. Paul Reed wins most improved. B-ball Paul is here, baby. Uh, clutch player of the year is finally in the game. That's fun. It is also John Morant. Nick Nurse wins coach of the year because everything is fine in Philadelphia. And then they also win executive of the year. Okay, cool. All NBA teams are here um, as we get three guards because there's no positions anymore. Oh, my God. I forgot. So that makes the game so much more fun. Um, there's no positions to all NBA anymore. That's so cool. Uh, here are the rookie teams if you're wondering. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Okay. Like I mentioned, we were bad. 32 wins to be exact. That makes me feel good but for this offseason because we might have a top-ish pick. And then we also got some trade pieces. Like D'Angelo Russell could go hoop somewhere else if he takes his player option or whatever. So we got Paul George versus James Harden in the finals. Um, and it ends up being the 76ers. Everything is fine. Look, James Harden's back to MVP form. Everything is great, Philly. Don't worry about it. All right, so LeBron tries to retire. I'm, again, if you are close to contributing on a team, and I mean like 77 or higher, then you, you, can't, you can't retire for me. Here we go. Draft lottery. And we have the fifth highest odds, which I really do like. We will end up with pick number seven. So we drop. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. The Wizards were really, really bad, so they, they deserved that first overall pick. The Hornets were bad. The Raptors were worse than anticipated, I guess. And we end up with the seventh overall pick, which is a place the Bulls draft all the time. So I feel like I did something wrong because we don't want to fall into the seventh overall pick thing. Anyway, uh, let's go try to make this team at least competent. Not championship worthy, but at least competent. NBA draft is here. The Washington Wizards, are they going to select that one center? No. They go with Harry Longley at a, a o -O -S OSU. 6'7 uh, shooting guard. He might be good. He might be good. Uh, we got Gerard Ingram, 6'5", shooting guard, going second overall. Then we got Rashid Fields going third. Are we going to get the center that we want? Hold on. Keep letting them fall. Oh, trade. Charles Bassey. Oh, my God. The Spurs traded their pick for Jalen Brunson. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Jalen Brunson and Victor Wembanyama, ladies and gentlemen. It's happening. And they get Dwayne Randall with... Um, how... How... Um, the heck? So, uh, Jalen Brunson that got traded to the Suns? What's going on? I forgot to look at the trades. I forgot to look at the trades at year number one. Are they are they trades that make sense? I don't know. Bradley Beal gets traded for Jalen Brunson. So, that was the trade that happened. Uh, and the Suns still didn't win, even though they had J they had Jalen Brunson with Devin Booker. And all, you know this. They also traded for Josh Hart, a part of that trade. And they didn't win the championship? Oh, that's a fumble. And then they trade uh, their third best player, all-star caliber player, for a draft pick. And then they use it on a guy. I, th there had to be so many trades. Hold on. Now, I'm, I'm going to quickly glance through teams across the league. Just, just real quick. Mitchell Robinson got traded from the Knicks as well. Jeremy Grant ended up in Atlanta. Wow. Oh, oh that was the Clint Capella trade, huh? That, yeah, that had to be the Clint Capella trade. But that's not a bad core at all. Now, Jeremy Grant is getting paid a lot of money, but 
Again, not a bad core. Brandon Miller had a solid rookie season. Now, he didn't shoot it super efficiently, but averaging 17 ain't no joke. Okay, it seems like that's kind of it for big-time trades. Draymond Green doesn't get traded. Y'all know Draymond Green gets traded in every single video. Not yet. He's here. He's, he's on the team still. All right, um, so we are very close to having a center fall to us. One pick away. OKC does not take him. They take the Joey Burke guy, who's also really solid. So this is very interesting because the highest-rated player is still on the board right now. Now, this other guy here, Ryan Nash, maybe maybe have better upside because he's 19 years old and he's from Illinois State. You know the Bulls love a player that's from Illinois. <laughs> no way. Um, hopefully, this is showcasing to us that there's a, diff a, a bigger variance. Variance? I, I don't know if that's the word. Where, like, the top player is not always the first overall pick guy. You know what I'm saying? You know how Giannis was drafted 15th. He's the best in his draft class. And 2K, the best players always got drafted first. So, um, we could go out and get our guy. Like, NBA.com has him as the number one player on the big board. So, I think we have to go get him. He's a two-way sharpshooter that could be Al Horford or Pal Gasol. That seems great. Nobody else has that. Get Come to the team. Come to Chicago. Boyd Long, 7-1 center. We traded away Vooch because we thought that there was a world we could get him, and we got him. That makes me feel great. Now, is he actually that? He's actually a 78. Also, this guy was pretty good. The mid-range threat. He might be DeMar DeRozan. But this draft class wasn't too bad. This point guard that the Knicks got, Sean Schultz, 19-year-old, who it looks like he might be a stud. Did we miss? Did we miss on him? He cannot defend to save his life, but he's 6'2". But that three-point shot, minus playmaker, but he's 19 years old at a 77. That's interesting. We don't have any second-round picks, but I'm curious to see if there's any good second-rounders. I mean, a 19-year-old second-round pick that's pretty solid as a rookie. This guy's pretty solid at 20. So we might see some good second-round pick people. I'm excited about that. Lonzo declined 31, uh, tw I'm sorry, 21 AMs coming off an injury. Same thing with D'Angelo Russell. Whoa, that's, that's something. We got a lot of money to spend then. We got a lot of money to spend. I'm not saying we will spend because well, Kawhi is sitting here with zero offers and we... We don't have a lot of money to spend. Why did I think we were going to have max contract money? What the heck did I miss? Yeah, so definitely not max contract money. Um, but I would love to bring Lonzo back just because now he's going to hoop this season. D'Angelo Russell, I'm okay with letting go. We kind of just traded for him for that first round pick. I did believe that he was going to take his player option. Why does Lonzo? No, he can't come back. He can't come back. There's no word. You just came off an injury. You're not worth $30 million annually. What is his pro? Yeah, you could go. You could go. Everybody thinks that they're worth big time money. Everybody thinks they're worth big time money. Um, except for Jonas Valanciunas. We don't need. Yo, that's insane. We do need a point guard. I'll tell you that much. Because uh, Io um, was not good at shooting the ball this season. He's getting worse and worse. Uh, Javon was solid. We'll take that from Javon. But we do need point guard play. Caruso only averaged five because it's Alex Caruso, but I bet the defense was there. Kobe White was pretty good off the bench. That That's a good sign. Hopefully, he gets better uh, when player progression comes around. Zach Levine averages 23 as the guy. We are very far away from a championship run, which is okay. We got time. Like, what is, what is this, man? What is this? Why would he, who averaged 10 points per game, think that he's worth $35 million? Are you serious? I cannot make this up, bro. I'm so disappointed already. The, the, the game came out two hours ago. <laughs> what the heck, man? So Kobe White is good. Patrick Williams is solid. Um, Alex Caruso gets so much worse. We're in for another season of mediocrity, Bulls fans. But this is my vow to you. This will be our very last season of being bad. I promise you. As the head of this team, the GM, the owner, the coach, not everything but a player. I promise you this will be our last year of being bad because us Bulls fans have been through enough, all right? Just let me cook, and the next season we will be good. Now, I'm not saying next season we're going to win the championship, but we will be in the playoff hunt. Get, get, I guarantee. So this is my plan for this season. Be bad. Um, Not sign Patrick Williams to $30 million, I'll tell you that much. He took his qualifying for 12-9 and hope, I hope that things get better. Um, we, we let Boyd uh, Long be him, right? Reed Hachimura. These, these are the people that I'm pretty okay with letting go. Zach, you can stay for, for the time being, even though he's starting to regress. 
Uh, he can stay for the time being. Let's say Rui's on the block, Caruso's on the block with the last year of his deal. Those are probably the two biggest pieces, I would say. Um, I actually want to give Boyd more minutes because, I mean, you're the future of the team. Uh, so I need you to be great. First game of his NBA career is a loss to the New York Knicks um, in a game where he had 17. Ooh, he can pass to... Stop, stop sleeping. Stop sleeping. Seventh overall pick. He's, he's going to be the greatest in the draft class for sure. So uh, we're bad of uh, 14 and 28. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me let me see something. Future first round picks. We don't even own our own first round pick this year. Where is our pick? Spur oh, top 10 protected. Top 10 protected. All right. So we are top 10 bad. Okay, cool. Now, wait, 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 we're chilling. We're chilling. Um, I kind of need point guard play, though. Javon Carter and Ayo Desumo are cutting, getting the job done. So we need to find a team that's either selling, you know, I feel like we can buy and sell at the same time, if that makes sense. I mean, Javon is good, but not starting point guard good, you know. So I'm going to go across, across the league one more time and just see if I can find somebody. So the Hawks are selling, which is interesting. DeJounte Murray and uh, Zach Levine are both from the Seattle area. They're homies. He's not a point guard anymore, but he could be. I'm going to add him to my list. They're selling. You know, if they're selling, they say Trey Young is on the block. The following players are on the block. I might trade for Trey Young. Hold on. I have never seen a top tier player like Trey Young be on the block. Also, Bradley Beal on the block. But he's an 84. Trey Young's an 88. How long until Trey Young is back from his injury? He is two to four weeks. Two weeks from now is about the trade deadline. I got to keep going. We're going to try to trade for Trey Young. Now, it ain't like we got some crazy great assets and stuff. But them being a selling team makes me think they're going to want draft capital. We did get some Lakers picks and a Clippers pick. And I don't know if the Lakers or the Clippers are good right now. We can quickly check that. I think the, the, the game is not co cooperating by my input. Matter of fact, I'll be back. He's not injured anymore. He's averaging 24 and 9. So, you know, maybe not his best season. Especially last year, he was on a heater. We're trading him because we think he can still do this. All right, 88 overall. What do we have? We have Rui Hachimura. We're going to have um, Dalen, <laughs> Dalen Terry. Trust, trust, trust. I mean, we have to throw in Kobe White, right? And he's having a good season, but there's no way you do this trade without giving up one of the younger pieces. You could give us back uh, Jermichael Green. You could give us back... Uh, I don't want to take any of your young good players. Kobe Bufkin with that with the mid part ponies. Okay, I mean they have so many young players on their team um, that I don't even know who to who to trade for. I don't want to take this guy because he might be good for you. So Caruso instead of Dalen Terry makes the money match. Obviously this is not good enough to get a guy of that caliber. Um, the Trailblazers are good. I expect this pick to be valuable because well they still have Dame right. They still have Dame. Um, and then I'm willing to give up a Lakers pick which is good value. Okay. And then that Clippers pick, let's see what the Clippers pick is looking like. Two-star value. Um, young player who's having a good season, 20, uh, 16 points per game, and on good efficiency too for Kobe White at least. Um, I don't want to trade Kobe White. If I'm being honest with you, I love Kobe White. He's one of my, he's, is he my favorite player, bull on the roster? He's one of the top bulls on the roster as far as favoritism go for me. So I don't want to trade him. Rui, again, we don't need. Trey Young, welcome to Chicago, baby. Wow. Now, Terrence Ross is now our shooting guard, but he don't have to be because this is what we're going to do. Zach Levine, you're back to a, to a shooting guard, my boy. Now, I, I went into that thinking we was going to end up with DeJounte Murray, but when I saw they was moving, you know what? I sh probably shouldn't have gave them all of that because they were selling anyway. Why did I pay so much? I should have taken one of those picks away just to see what they was thinking. Too late now. We got Trey Young in Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Dalen Terry can start for us right now. Um, he's becoming like an average three-point shooter at this point in time, and he's having a good statistical season. So welcome to the rotation and starting lineup. I feel good. Now, we're not a playoff team because we're so deep into like whatever it is. We're so deep into it at 17 and 34, or 32. But this is a team that's built to be competitive next year, as I mentioned. We got both of our guys in the contract for an additional season after this. After what? After that, I don't know what happens. Patrick Williams, are y'all ready to see Patrick Williams? Are you ready to see Patrick Williams? Boom! MIP candidate! Stop sleeping! It's actually, is he the MIP uh, like favorite? He should be. Yes. Now, his numbers will go down because he's now playing with Troy Young. Maybe they go up because he's playing with Troy Young. He's got a real point guard now. Um, also, him averaging less than one assist per game is hilarious. Um, and two turnovers. His assist to turnover ratio is awful. Uh... <laughs> And B, B Long is having a good year as well. So um, 
I'm I'm here for a breakout like second half of the season to let the world know we might not be good now, but give us one more year. Just one more year. That's three straight wins after the Trey Young trade. That's three straight wins. Make make it four. Four straight wins going into the break. Hold on. How far are we out of the playoff hunt? If we if we're playing team this year, I'm happy. We're the 14th seed, but we're only a game and a half out of the playoffs. Because the Eastern Conference sucks. We're going to make the playoffs this season. Book it. John Moran goes back to back. I see you, John. We do get the rookie of the year. 12, 10, and about three and a half. A block and a steal. He's a stud. I mean, he did shoot 40, 42% for a center, but he shot 36% from three, which is like a cool trade-off, if you ask me. Russell Westbrook is the sixth man of the year. DPOY, DPOY goes to Giannis again. Most improved goes to Patrick Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, they, we feel, dang, 19 losses on the season? We got the most improved player, Patrick. You told me you was worth $36 million, and I laughed in your face, and then you broke out. I appreciate Now, pass the ball. How about that? How about we pass the ball? How about that? Your next level of evolution is being an okay playmaker. Wimby's already making all NBA takes. I, oh, my. Tomorrow's video is a Wimby video, 100%. I'm so ready to see him perform live. But I would have done it year one or video one. Year one. Video one. But you know we got to get the bulls out of the way. So we did end up making the play in. And look who we see. It will be the uh, Atlanta Hawks. You, of course, we made a trade with... Um, and we Trey Young can get his revenge against the team that traded him away, the team that gave up on him in his young old age. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's other any big trades, and the, the answer is no. But Russell Westbrook did get traded. Uh, Terry Rozier got traded to the Suns. The Suns are still trying to be good. I mean, they're fourth seed, so I guess it's possible. Can we get out of the play-in? We get two chances. The first game is a loss. All right, uh, we lose to Malik Monk hitting six three-pointers. And it wasn't really close. Zach Levine, how about we, Trey Young, how about we do more than this, huh? Thank you. Uh, Patrick Williams should not be leading us in scoring, but we do win the second game against Philly. Defending champions are out, and Pascal plays for the team. Oh, because with with Tobias Harris and James Harden off the books, they had a max spot, and they used it to get um, uh, Pascal, which is cool, I guess. Uh, Jay Morris, who is that? Josh Morris, 30th overall pick. Play for them and play well, but Trey Young ends up doing his thing. We go against the one-seeded team who won... Uh, third, what was it? Broken leg for Ayo Sumo. That's no fun. Who won uh, 63 games this season. So, yeah. We also got this guy. Whoa. He was just a throw in to the trade, but he's nice. Bro, he was, I mean, why is he shooting 50% from the free throw line? I don't have an answer to that. He only shot 18. Oh, he didn't play a ton. Okay. I thought this was a full season where he averaged 14. No. But when he does play, he's really good. Javon? Javon's more of a two to me anyway. I know he's small, but he defends well. That's fine. First game, we lose. Uh, again, I don't anticipate us winning this series because look at this roster and everything. So, you know what? We can, I was going to say power through it, but look at our guys. Patrick Williams. I can't, like, do you see the smile on my face when Patrick Williams is taking over NBA games? Trey Young took over this one. Yo, if we upset the one seed, okay, there's their win. Patrick Williams again. Um, man, uh, Fitzgerald is our backup point guard next season, 100%. I don't know if he's going to progress or anything, but he was, he's been really nice. We lose. That's okay. Again, we didn't expect to win. They were really good. The one seed on the other side ended up losing. Jokic versus Darius Garland. Big man uh, for the Cavs got their hands full, and they do end up winning in seven. Darius Garland wins finals MVP. Um, I'm also realizing that they went on that run without Donovan Mitchell. Did y'all peep that? I didn't peep that until after they won. Donovan Mitchell was injured. He has not played. He play, Oh, he played some of the playoffs. 16 of the games. Okay, so he played in our series, um, but did not make it to what? Oh, the Atlanta Hawks made it to the conference finals without Trey Young. Uh-oh. Uh, it looked like he didn't play in the finals, though. Yeah, he did not play in the finals at all, and they still won. That's crazy. Darius Garland. LeBron has to retire now. Dang. I'm sorry, Brian. Got to see you go. Draft lottery. Again, we made the playoffs. So our pick conveys to the Spurs. 15th overall. We don't really care about that. The 76ers jumped all the way up to two. Wow. The Spurs got three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back picks and then another pick at 16. So <laughs> the Spurs. And then they got number 10. They got 10, 11, 15, 16. Wait. Wait. wait what? 10, 11, 12, 15, 16. If they don't package three of those picks together to move up, like, amazingly, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. So, we, yeah, we don't have a first-round pick this year, which, again, is not a problem to us. Our priority is kind of figuring this stuff out, paying Patrick Williams, I guess. 
maybe move in Ayo Desumu to make some room for our other point guard and Fitzpatrick, who's prob who's our backup. I'm, I'm saying that right now. I'll go to the draft just, just in case, you know what I'm saying? Do I want to trade into it? Probably not. I'm going to trade Ayo for two Detroit Piston picks, because why not? You know what I'm saying? Why would Detroit Pistons? Thank you. Uh, first overall pick Pacers get Tyrone Franklin, who looks like a stud. He ain't nothing compared to uh, Boyd Long, but he's a stud, potentially. If there's any time to have money, is now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The team-up of the, not the century, of the decade right here. The team-up of the decade right here. Um, Hope that it goes through for them, but they let Kyrie walk in order to make that happen. The Bucks are letting some people walk to potentially get Kyrie Irving to Milwaukee. So the league is crazy. The Pistons might be picking up Larry Market and, hey, we just traded for they pick. It, ain't, it might not be valuable. So things are happening. Julius Randle doesn't have a good offer. Scotty Barnes, they completely let Scotty like go into unrestricted free agency because he wants $41 million. And that's my, this is not something that the Raptors have to give, I guess. Lonzo Ball's back in free agency. Where did he spend his last season? I don't know because we're we not happy with Lonzo. He went to Washington and he was fine. He's fine. Josh Giddy also hitting the open market. Can't, oh, 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 oh. Now, obviously this is booked. No way all of these top picks from this draft class are hitting unrestricted free agency. It's just, uh, un, it's just not right. It's not going to happen. The Bucks do get Kyrie Irving, so that's something. Um, but he, he, Pascal goes to the Nets now. He's just going to be hopping teams, I guess. The Celtics get Jalen Brunson because they lost Jason Tatum. The Jazz end up getting Scotty Barnes because they lost Larry Markkinen. The Pelicans retain their guy. Okay, okay. Chris Middleton goes to the Pacers. The Pacers might be kind of nice this season. Um, yeah, stuff is happening. Oh, you see, we got Loon Dog, Loon Dog. Yes, sir. Boyd got the best backup possible because Loon Dog is one of them ones. Obviously, we are not a championship caliber team. That's obvious, but we do feel okay. We got Josh Akogi. I mentioned uh, Loon Dog on the team. Uh, Fitzgerald jumps up a couple, so he's the true backup point guard. Javon re-signed on a player option, so he's here, but maybe not for long. Um, I feel okay with the team. We're not a championship team, but again, I told y'all, we I didn't say we were going to win a championship this year. I said we was going to be in playoff hunts, and even last year, we were not in the playoff hunt. We were in the playoffs. Zach Levine, unfortunately, at age 30, is just regressing. So, with him being on the last year of his deal and him regressing, like, it feels as though, even though I don't want to do it, um, I might have to trade him sometime through season. He only wants $25 million this year for the next three, which ain't bad for him. But still, I, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm confident we're giving Trey Young that money. So, let, let me turn the Trey Young thing down to, like, 45 in the first year. Um, cause he's not, he's not regressing or anything and he's still really good. He gets his extension. So we don't have to worry about him, but with one year left on Zach Levine, I'm sorry, Zach, even though we would love to keep you around him regressing at age 30 makes sense. Then I just don't want to tie that much money to a regressing guard. Um, even if he is a stud because we know he, he, he is. So let me simulate, see how good or bad we are and kind of gauge the market after that. So I was thinking about moving Zach Levine, but how can we? We are 36 and 13 right now. There's no way we can use. I mean, I didn't even know if he might not even be performing well. 21 and 4 and 4. The the question is, do we think we can win a championship now? Um, while he has his last year of his deal, or do we try to trade him to be proactive, even if we break up the core? I don't know. Trey Young, on the other hand, is close to you know great again. <laughs> not close to he is great, so that's fun. Uh, B. Long is averaging career high numbers in year number two. Patrick Williams took a little dump. Um, oh, ew. Uh, but we asked him to play make more. It's up to an assist a game again. Let's go. Kevon Looney, you know Loon. Off the bench, Loon Dog is averaging 10 rebounds. Oh, my God. He's a monster. Uh, Dalen Terry, year number three. It's cool to see Dalen Terry become a good three-point shooter. Uh, he jumped up 10%. Like, that's something that we should, you know, clap for. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. Josh Akogi, who we brought in, can't do anything. We might move him. Um, Neil Fitzpatrick, Fitzgerald, again, is looking really good. Efficient point guard. Not a great passer, but he can score with the best of them. Javon hasn't played a ton, but when he does play, he is shooting a high clip, high value. Um, so yeah, we're looking good. Oh, Alex Caruso's back on the team. Once you look at that, he's just not good anymore. We need to go across the league and figure out who's selling, potentially, and try to steal some of their pieces, maybe. Um... So we got the Pistons who are selling. They lost Kay Cunningham. They brought in Larry Markkinen, and it didn't matter. 
he's making crazy money we obviously don't have money to match that but uh actually we should we should figure out what type of money we do have to move if we keep zach levine so we're talking about josh Kogi maybe who is seven million we have um javon carter who's six million and that's probably the extent we can go so like 13 million dollars in money to move don't seem like enough to make something big happen but you, you never know 13 million could maybe get us something nice what position are we thinking about i mean right now dt is our starting small forward maybe not the best starting small forward even though again he's shooting 40 percent from three he probably projects more on the championship team as a backup than a starter but let's just see at that 13 million dollar valuation can we find somebody Corey kisper can definitely shoot his perimeter defense is not bad anymore actually 81 overall perimeter defense is sitting at 73 okay not as good as we want but it's still possible um to maybe have Corey Kispert be the guy what type of season are we having Corey 45 percent from three you like that Corey Kispert is one of the guys potentially Lou Dort is at 17 he can't shoot still he still can't shoot. dang I wanted to try I got a 2k friend request what the heck is that? oh it's cross plat now so people can add me on 2k specifically instead of xbox that's fun i guess um i was trying to go get grant williams but the mavericks are the second best or tied for the first best team in ball with us so they're not going to trade us a core piece um the pisses are, are bad bro so we have that pick our pick is not going to be valuable so we're willing to trade that away potentially something tells me i should be going for a splash though something tells me that should be what my mindset is at so let's 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 look around again even if that means trading Zach Levine right now. Can we move uh, Anthony Davis over to the four, have him and Boyd, and then Patrick Williams be our three? But then, no, we're trading Zach Levine in this hypothetical, and that doesn't, then we have nobody run the guard with Trey Young. So, yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Unless we also, oh, no, he's making 54 amps. No, nah, I'm sorry. We can't get Anthony Davis. I thought about it. They were selling. I thought about it. At this current state of the league, um, yeah, uh, it's not, I, why, why are we not contending? Thank you. At this current state of the league, it's not a lot to be done. So, Zach Levine is probably safe. So, shout out to Zach Levine. I wouldn't mind having Austin Reeves, though. Uh, he's 83 overall. Again, the Lakers are selling. Austin Reeves can come in, move, play the two. We move Zach Levine over to the three. Another ball handler slash good player. His perimeter defense is at a B plus right now. He's three-star value. We give them um, Josh Okogie and then also give them Javon Carter. Josh Okogie's got pretty solid value for a backup. So, that's pretty cool. And then they got to give us back a player. So, in this case, oof. Sadiq Bay, you're a selling team. You don't need Sadiq Bay. You don't need him. But you know who can use him? Us. We give you a first round pick, and you know what, Lakers, you can have your first round pick back next season because you're bad. Don't you want it back? Dang. Okay. Now we're speaking into some expensive territory. The Pistons are gonna be bad next season. We're gonna be good next season. So let's use that. We're not giving up four first round picks for for this core, right? No. 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 <sighs> Unless we honestly believe that we're that that trade is putting us over the hump, which it might. It, is it a it's a is a trade worth trying? Those picks were valuable to me. Um, you know what is valuable in the context of my team right now? Austin Reeves is. In the context of my team right now, Sadiq Bay coming off our bench is insane, right? So the new starting lineup is Trey Young, Austin Reeves, Zach Levine, Patrick Williams, and then B Long. And then off the bench, Sadiq Bey is averaging 15 points per game on 40% from three. Like, that's elite for us. Now, we're going to lose him in the offseason if we don't win a championship, but that's a, that's a risk I'm willing to take at this moment. Kevon Looney, DT, is now a backup, which, again, probably fits him a little bit better. They got Fitzpatrick, and we probably should try to get a backup shooting guard. The problem is we don't have a lot to potentially trade anymore because we just gave up a lot in that last trade. We do have Lamar. So you know what? We might have to trade Julian Phillips. Um, just because he's youngish and ha will probably hold some value across the league. We need a backup shooting guard. Landry Shamit, don't love it, but it's possible. All right, it will be Landry Shamit. So welcome to the team, Landry. That should have us have a 10-man rotation. Why is Jock Vaughn my coach? I don't know the answer to that. Um, we don't need Cambridge Williams. So when, yeah, instead, it's going to be Landry Shamit playing. Is he having a good year? Oh, my God, he's off. That three straight years where he's been four straight, five straight years where he's been terrible. Why did I not look at that before I traded? Okay, well... <laughs> Okay, uh, Jacques Vaughn's coaching is scaring me. Um, we, we would rather have some of these other dudes, but we're playing so well that we're not going to fire a man when he's the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, right? So for the second half of the season, I, we got kind of cold. Um, we'll see if that hurts us. Luka wins MVP. Tyrone Franklin win, uh, wins Rookie of the Year. Every one of these pass, uh, big men can pass. It's something I didn't expect. 
Allen Thompson, six man. Chet Holmgren, DPOY, also most improved. And then Jalen Brown wins clutch player of the year. How do they t- determine that in 2K? I wonder what the algorithm says it is. You know, is it game winning shots or what? I don't know. Uh, JB Bickerstaff, they do it again. I'm a little bit afraid of that team. They end up taking a one seat away from us, which just sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, with it being positionless, I mean, we ha- we're not going to see our guy Trey Young make it hot. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe he deserved to. Maybe he did it. Only time will tell. Here we go as the two seed. Yes, two seed tied with the Charlotte Hornets, who are better than anticipated. Uh, right now, Patrick Williams is injured. But if I'm not mistaken, th- that's why we sucked. Well, not sucked. We were bad at the second half of the season. Patrick Williams has been injured. But he's, he's day-to-day. So we just got to play one or two games without him. Maybe uh, Sadiq Bay filling in pretty nicely, if you ask me. Sadiq Bay's been good. Patrick Williams been better. <laughs> He's no longer averaging one assist per game. The one thing we asked him about. But we do end up being a 2C. Let's see who our opponent is. It will be the division rival. Oh, and Patrick Williams is back already? Give me those. You know what? With us being potentially going for a championship run, I'm going to say Cambridge Williams. I'm sorry we're going to take those minutes away. Even you, Fitzgerald. Who, again, what a good throw in to the Trey Young trade. This guy has no business being good. He has no business being good. But we found a guy that can score his butt off and a trade that wasn't about him, which is just so great. But we're going to take some of those minutes, and we're going to allow our guy, Trick or Trey Young, Zach Levine. They want to have Patrick Woods come off the bench. I'm going to start P. Willie as I get another friend request that you can't see. Uh, I'm going to start P. Willie and let it be like that. Oh, Landry Shaman is on fire. How bad he was. And wh- what did you end up shooting from the field, Landry? Did you, did you end up being okay in your second half? No. Aren't you a three-point shooter? Like, how do you have an 84-3 but shoot 30% from three on the season? I don't know. So we do got the Pacers, though. We have Sidney Fisher, Jairus Walker, and Tyrone Franklin as their uh, current rookie slash future rookie players. Reese is really good. Chris Middleton is pretty solid. We said that that team was going to be good, and here they are as the seventh seed. We win game one pretty convincingly. Everybody's eating. B. Long had a good, good year. Um, it wasn't that much different than his rookie season, but hey, 24 and 12 in the first season play, uh, game of the playoffs is pretty good. Be long. Keep it up. I don't think this team is going to compete really 3-0 us. I need to get this first championship of 2K27. It's almost there. You know what I'm saying? We have a couple games away. So we do have the Charlotte Hornets next. We have Jalen Suggs at the two. Wow. The, um, the Hornets have put together a good team. Won't you look at that? All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. We're good. Game one is a win. Game two. Is uh, Austin Reeves injury? We're fine. Austin Reeves is fine. Game two is a win. Game three is not. Okay, we lose our first game in the playoffs. Okay, we lose our second game in the playoffs. Austin Reeves twisted his knee. Our starting shooting guard is gone. So Zach Levine, you're gonna start. Actually, no. Um, Sadiq Bay is gonna start at the three. Dale and Terry, you still coming off the bench? Yep, that's the way I'm thinking. Landry Shaman, I'm still taking those minutes. Same thing with you, Mr. Uh, Cambridge Williams. Instead, we're gonna have Zach Levine get up to 35. Troy Young up to 40. B Long up to 35. Patrick Williams up to 30, and then uh, Fitz, Fitzgerald gets a little bit. I keep wanting to say Fitzpatrick. That's not his name. Whatever. 2-2 two, two series. We're down 3-2. First sim cast of 2K27? 27? I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. That's how you know it's early in the morning. 2K27? I'm living in the future. Yeah, uh, Brandon Miller's looking nice. Um, who's our best defender? We should put Patrick Williams on him. Patrick Williams, what's your perimeter D this year? 92 three-pointer, by the way. Your perimeter D is at an 81, which is above average for that position. Dalen Terry might have to start, man. Dalen Terry's defense should be uh, out. He can steal the ball with the best of them, but his perimeter defense is not good. Okay, Sadiq Bey, are you better than Patrick Williams at an 81? Oh, you're an 80. You're an 80. Oh, my God. I want to jump on a simcast anyway. So let's get into it. This game can end our season, and then we're, I'm going to say we're at the drawing board again, but uh, it's not close. All right. But, you know, we do lose to the Bay. Um, Zach Levine will be afraid. We just won by uh, 70 points in a playoff game, by the way. I just want you to say thir- 30s for B. Long and Trey Young. Trey, Trey Young had seven steals as my 7-1 defensive liability? Come on, one more game. We're at home at the UC. Uh, y'all know I'm in attendance in real life if something like this happens. You know I'm already there. And, oh, yeah, it look like we're walking out of here with two back-to-back blowout victories. Maybe. Yeah, for sure winning, but would it be a blowout? The answer is also yes. We get to the conference finals, baby. Okay, now my lawn people are here. Uh, so, apologies. No way Trey Young gets injured right now. 
one to two weeks and he can't play through it? They want to start Alice Caruso. Oh, no, 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 no. We will still do this. This is really bad right now. This is really bad. Let me fix my lineup. We do have old John Wall in the roster if we need point guard play. I'm giving John Wall some minutes. Because we need point guard play, man. We need point guard play. All right, Zach Levine, you're the guy. B. Long, you're the secondary guy. And yeah, all right. Well, this is how we're running. We actually, Cambridge Williams, I'm sorry, bro. We just don't really need you to play right now. Uh, you know, if we, you're like an emergency, a push in case of emergency player. And it's not, is it an emergency? It might be an emergency. I, we'll see. If we lose this first game, then we'll give you minutes. All right, cool. We're going against the one seed of Cleveland Cavaliers. Again, this team is absolutely stacked. But they don't got Darius Garland. Is Darius Garland injured or is he on a different team? Him being on a different team would be wild. I think he's just injured. Yes. So, so, so it's even. They're missing their point guard. We're missing ours. And our, we're also we're missing our backcourt completely. Sheesh. But it's day to day. It's day to day for Trey Young. What, didn't it just say weeks? It's day to day. He might be back for game two. Oh, we're winning the series. Game one. We're winning the series. We're winning the series. Without without Darius Garland, did they win game seven without him? They did win game seven without him. Last year, they won a championship without Donovan Mitchell. So they just able to piece stuff together. We also win game two. Zach, this is your team. It is your time to shine. Patrick Williams even gave us two assists, but he did turn the ball over four times. We might be getting out of here pretty easily. Cambridge Williams is injured, bro. You're not even supposed to be hooping. Um, he played one minute and got injured. <laughs> All right, that was that was so overdone by me. I didn't expect us to be this good without him. Do we need, need Trey Young? We scored 47 points in the fourth quarter. Insanity. Game four, we sweep him. Sheesh. No Trey Young. They said day to day. He ain't even come back yet. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Okay, wait, wait. Let me see. I keep, see, I keep calling Fitzpatrick. Fitzgerald led us in scoring. Come on, man. Fitzgerald is here. When, when, when your number's called, you got to be ready to perform. And our guy Fitzgerald was there to perform for sure. He had multiple 20-point games in this four-game series. And in the finals, we get Trey Young back, so that's great. We get Cameron Williams back. That's less great, but it happens. And Austin Reeves is back. That's over. And we're going against the Houston Rockets. Um, no, we're not. Hello? Wait. Luka? Luka got conference finals MVP on the losing team. Hold on, Luka Dolch. Wait, y'all team is low-key crazy. Y'all lost? Look at this lineup and y'all lost. Are you What is the Rockets then? The Rockets... Oh, I just realized I was in the way. Ha, 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 ha. The Rockets look like this, which is also really good. But let me go back to the Mavericks, who have 96, 82, 96, 86... How did y'all lose? Oh my god, that is a blunder by them. Were they the one seed? They were the one seed. How much better were they than the rest of the competition? 22 losses. Yeah, man, the Rockets were good, but they weren't as good as y'all. Actually, point difference will say they were better. Never mind. Because it is the first video of 2K24, I do want to jump into a game just to see if the AI is smarter. So I need one close game in the series. So far, it's close. Come on. Keep it that way. We're up, by, we're up by six. That's not close. It was close, and then I absolutely went too far. Okay, we're going to get one of these games. Best believe we're going to get one of these games. It ain't game two either. Man, 20-point win for the good guys again. Game three, and Houston now. You know, Houston got a nice home court, right? I ain't been to Houston yet. I actually go to Houston in a couple days or a couple weeks. So I will be in Houston, not for a basketball game, obviously, because there's no games going on. But, man, we are dominating them. None of these games have been close enough for us to jump into with two minutes left. That's that's like my barometer. Is it close with two minutes to go? All right, then we jump in. If it's not, then we don't. And this one has potential. It has good potential. And then it didn't. Well, Trick or Trey Young coming off his injury? Finals MVP? I tried it, bro. The first game had potential, but then we blew him out in the last couple minutes. And then since then, it's been wraps. And like we always do, the settings are exactly the same that we always play on every single cycle. Now I can feel good. Because in real life, our Bulls ain't going to be good. But it only took a couple seasons. Patrick Williams hit his jump. We traded for Trey, for Trey Young. And we won a championship by sweeping the conference finals in the finals. We like that. Tomorrow, come back for the Wimby video. We will get gameplay. We will jump in and see what it's about. And we will continue to do great stuff in NBA 2K24. I appreciate y'all as always. See you tomorrow. Peace.